Aries, what's going on with you guys? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 9th through the 15th. Let's get an overall energy. This is going to be a love reading. What's going on with the Aryans? Wow, I cannot believe we are approaching mid-September. What's going on with you guys? What is the overall energies that Aries is going to be dealing with during this time? All right. The strength card, card of Leo, the judgment, hmm. the fool, your energy, and the page of coins. Wow. So, there's most certainly a shift in direction. There's a leap of faith. There's a real strong propensity towards a direction. I don't know what this direction is. It could entail coming forward and offering some sort of offer here, Aries. But there's some decision that was made after a period of stagnancy. Could have even been a relationship that there was a, a notable sense of separation, even abandonment, a lack of communication. And I'm seeing decisions being made and a leap of faith being taken. Okay, whether it's towards this person, whether it's towards somebody, whether it's towards yourself, we're going to figure this out. But let's take a look. The judgment, the devil, what's going on here? Why is it, what's the judgment about? What's this judgment energy about? The judge, all right, guys. So whatever it is that you've come to realize has just it's kind of like i get a real confident energy i get an energy of success you're marching forward you realize something and you are in this victorious sort of mentality all right you guys are definitely experiencing a sense of confidence a sense of groundedness from a from a place of a heartbreak so i feel that you guys went through something very tumultuous here three of swords but this week, or just recently, mind you, the timelines will be different for all you guys. Just recently, there's been some sort of wake up that is now having you march forward as if you are coming from a battle victoriously, ladies and gents. <clears throat> Tell me more about this judgment. I want to see what they realize. What did they come to realize? What do they accept? What truth did they accept? Mm, six of coins. That you want to work together with somebody. That you want to extend a hand of benevolence generosity towards somebody you want to be generous or somebody so it seems there is page of wands it's a card of the messenger <laughs> aries after some sort of heartbreak you may be desirous to connect with somebody this is a love reading so this could entail romantic communications i haven't gotten the page of cups but let's see where this goes something flew out the Emperor, the Three of Wands, and the Star card. This is something that you've been very desirous of. Someone or some relationship that you have not moved on from, that you've been healing from, but you never really moved on from. But let me tell you, you look good, Aries. I mean, you look grounded. I'm not getting... We did see that Three of Swords, but this is past energy. Right now, you guys are vibrating at a high rate. Okay? You're in this Magician energy. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. What's going on here with this fool energy? This, what is this fool about? What are these foolish Aries about? Well, I see you guys have a big heart. You definitely exuding this element of emotional groundedness. King of Cups. Tell me about the fool. <laughs> Nine of Cups. I'm telling you, you guys are in this element of self-contentment, self-appreciation. You don't need anybody to be happy. You are having a fucking good time with yourself. But you want to have a good time with somebody. You want to have a good time with somebody after some sort of defeat. So you're taking a leap of faith when it comes to matters of love, Aries. Is this a new beginning? Is this someone new? Or is this a new beginning in an old situation? Let's see. Tell me more about the full energy. Ace of Cups. This could very much entail a new beginning. Are you experiencing new love? You got somebody new on your mind? Possibly an Earth sign? Virgo? Virgo energy? Doesn't have to be. Let's see. Tell me more about this full energy. The lovers and the king of cups. Holy shit, Aries. What do you got going on here? It's like, you guys have clearly recovered from something very tumultuous. Three of swords. The judgment. Got your mojo. Six of wands. Victorious. Into the full energy. Feeling good about yourself. Not giving a shit about the past. Taking a leap of faith towards something new. Ace of cups towards a relationship that is absolutely undeniable, which fills your heart. King of Cups. 
But this ACE is a very infant-like energy. And what I mean by this is that there's still so much room to develop in this. All right. <clears throat> so I feel that some of you guys are experiencing new love. What is going on with this page of coins, Aries? What's going on with this page of coins? Nine of, nine of wands. This is all about perseverance. Yeah, you picked up the broken pieces. You moved on. You're wounded, you licked your wounds, all right? You're bandaged up, ace of coins. You're done, you're going on to something new. You're embarking on to new endeavors. You are aligning with prosperity, with blessings to come into your life. And the reason being is because you got pressed and you did the work. You realize you, didn't, you don't need anybody to be fucking happy other than yourself. You attained this happiness, and now that you're in this emotional groundedness, look what you're drawing to yourself. Now that you are emotionally grounded, it's King of Cups energy, you got a full-blown fucking relationship that you're moving towards. But I want to tell you guys, we are in this page energy, all right? And this page energy is something that is, it's like an empty canvas, all right? It's an empty canvas that has yet to be painted on. So there's still a lot of room to develop in this relationship. Nevertheless, it's quite exciting. Let's see. <clears throat> what is Aries' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with, whomever it is that they're connecting with? Let's get four more shuffles. What's going on with the Aries? With the Rams. What's going on with the Aries? Get three more shuffles. And what is the energy that they're projecting towards whomever it is? That they're connecting with this lover's energy. This is absolutely notable. There is no fucking denying this. Tell me about Aries' energy towards damn, the Ten of Coins, the Justice, the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Swords, Aries, the Ace of Wands. God damn, Aries, the Empress. Guys, you guys are moving towards a relationship. You guys. Are moving towards a relationship but like i said this is something very very fresh this is something very very new all right look at we got triple aces we got triple aces all right and go figure we got the major arcana number three Whew. wow you know what i'm getting a sense of you guys went through something here and there's a, a sense of unity within yourselves and i'm really getting this divine energy about you it's kind of like you're balanced you're in your, your element, Aries, whether you are, you identify as the emperor or the empress, this is the divine, you see, this empress is balanced. This empress has that balance, that harmony within her, or the emperor has that balance, that feminine and masculine energy within him that is balanced and is, harm, is harmonic. You are in your elements, ladies and gents. Whoops, what did I do? Let me bring this back out. So we had the ace of coins and the ace of swords. Let's clarify this. What's going on here with the justice? So, Aries, you're acting from a place of truthfulness. I feel that you're expressing yourself with a sense of righteousness. Moving from, you know, a place of where you feel is right. The justice is all about cutting through the bullshit. So you're not playing any games. All right. If you're interested in somebody, I feel that you're moving towards it. Again, with an element of righteousness, doing things right, speaking your truth. All right. Talk to me about this justice energy that Aries is projecting towards whomever it is that they're the Ace of Cups. Are you fucking kidding me, guys? You, I'm telling you, there's just so much new energy. You're in this, you're in this phase this week, guys. It's somewhat like exploratory energy, just open, like a little child running, born into the world. All right, born into the world, going out and exploring something new, something that's caught your attention, something that you feel is right, something that resonates in a good place within you. And you are going for it. Wow. The Ten of Coins. God damn, Aries. What's going on here? What is going on here? A lot of stability. I'm looking forward to tuning into whomever it is that you're dealing with. All right. Because if we're getting all this positive energy, I want to see how it's being reciprocated. But give me a second. I want to tune in just a little more into you. Now, I must note that this was not an easy place to reach. I do see that there was a massive transformation that you went through. You were possibly dealing with a lot of depression, a lot of uh, toxicity to say the least. The Devil, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. But 
again, I feel that's something of the past. I feel that with that death energy that I just saw, this is something you transformed. You transmuted this. Whoops. You transmuted this and you are off to new beginnings. What's going on here with the Ace of Coins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is uh, clarified by the Seven of Cups. So as I mentioned earlier, there's some sort of choice, some sort of decision that was made. You were in an element of stagnancy, confusion, lacking clarity, and now you finally attain the clarity that you need and you're moving to, you're taking action. You're taking action. Whether this is towards somebody or just with yourself, you're now moving into a new direction. Ace of Wands, how many fucking aces? We literally have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Aries, what do you got going on? What do you got going on this week? What do you got going on? You got new beginnings. That's what that's what I'm seeing here. All right. Tell me more. Let's get one more here for the Ace of Coins, the World card, another card of a new beginning. This is wrapping up the past, beginning a new chapter in your life. Wow, Aries. This is a new chapter, ladies and gents. You are experiencing a new chapter in your life. The old is done with. With that justice energy, you've cut it out. You've learned what you had to. You went through the difficulties. You got the lessons. You grew. And now you're off to a new endeavor. You're off to a new conquest. Talk to me about this Ace of Swords. Three of Wands. Yeah. Breaking free from this element of being stagnant. You're done. It's, it's like you're no more waiting. No more stagnancy. There's an element of determination to manifest whatever it is that you want. What do you want? Ten of Cups? You want a relationship? You want a full-blown commitment? You want... Marriage, ten of coins, ten of cups, ten of coins, ladies and gents. What's going on? You're you seem ready for this, Aries. All right, you seem ready for this. Look, look, I just keep getting the same shit. We got the ace of cups again, and the death energy transformative. Aries, who are you? Who are you? You're not the same individual. You are transformed. You are grounded. You're exuding an element of victory, of confidence, a Above all, a sense of self-contentment. It's that element of being content with yourself when you realize, you know what? I don't need anybody else to be happy. I don't need anything else to be happy. I make myself happy. That authenticity, that energy is what just draws all these things to you. And that's why, that's why we're seeing all, this, all these aces, all these endings of chapters, all these new beginnings. So guys, look how you're beginning this new phase. This is your energy this week. The Empress, the Emperor, whatever you want to identify with, you are in this divine, high vibrational essence, and it's because you have done work. You've come to the realizations. You've di you've dived within yourself, Aries, the Hermit energy. All right, you went deep within yourself, and you attained the understanding that you needed from whatever it is that you went through. And you got to consider that if you are coming from a place of difficulty, if you recently went through something challenging. These challenging scenarios are here to compel us to go within ourselves, are here to compel us to move into that hermit energy and deal with our own struggles, with our own limitations. Challenges are here to compel us towards growth, and you most certainly reaped that growth. What's going on with Aries' this person, whomever it is that Aries is connecting with? And what is their energy toward Aries? Finally, we get a new love reading, ladies and gents. <clears throat> what's going on here with the person that Aries is dealing with let's get three more shuffles whoa, 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 whoa. let's get one more what's going on with the person that Aries is connecting with all right knight of coins the four of cups Ooh, the ten of swords god damn well let me tell you your person here is most certainly interested but they are wanting to take things slow, Aries. This person here is absolutely inclined to working diligently on this relationship. But your person, let me tell you, they are in a phase where they are kind of rebuilding themselves. So while you have already gone through a tower moment and you have already built a new foundation, this person has yet to build that foundation for themselves. All right. Now, I don't feel as if this tower or this sense of disillusion when it comes to their love life is related to you it could be it could be but let's see what's going on here with the knight of coins this is them moving towards aries very slowly wanting to take their time could be an earth sign as i mentioned earlier the justice 
So this is someone here that is being truthful, okay? This is someone here that doesn't want to play games. This is someone that wants the best for them. Now, this relationship could very much be a relationship from the past year with the Six of Cups. May that energy come out once again, if that's the case. Nevertheless, the tower moment, like I mentioned, whomever it is that you're dealing with has gone through something very challenging, Aries. They themselves have been going through a time in which has compelled them towards growth. Have they attained that growth? Mm -hmm. Possibly. The sun. Yeah, most certainly. So they've made some sort of progress. This person has been through a major challenge. Their world has been shaken up, Aries, and I do feel as if this person, mind you, interestingly, you appeared as the Empress, and this person is appearing as the Emperor. Let me know if the roles are reversed for you guys. However, what I'm seeing here is that this person has definitely learned some lessons, and they have experienced a shift within themselves. They are now compelled towards seeking happiness, seeking groundedness. But there is a notable energy of them still recovering and going through whatever difficulty it is that they've been faced with. <clears throat> what is this Four of Cups? What is this Four of Cups here? Let's look into this Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups regarding this individual here? Seven of, seven of Swords. Ooh, Aries, 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 Aries. Two of Cups. So let me tell you, this person really does love you. They got a lot of feelings for you. All right, but they're a bit apprehensive. They're a bit apprehensive here. Queen and King of Swords. Interesting. They are most certainly emotionally disconnected. Who you're dealing with is not in the most vulnerable position to open them their feelings up. Ten of Wands. They are overburdened. They are overwhelmed still. They're still being pressed by the situation. The Temperance Card of Sagittarius. This person, again, is in a, in a phase of finding that balance. Hmm. They're emotionally cold. They're emotionally cold. Strength card. Card of uh, Leo. Nevertheless, yeah, like I said, right now they're going through a challenging time, Aries. This person is overwhelmed. They're quite disillusioned with what's going on, and I feel that they got their guards up. All right? That's interesting. I, I'm inclined to tell you that this is not something that should be taken personal, okay? They actually do want to connect with you, hence that Knight of Coins, but they're just not in the position to do so. Let's clarify that Ten of Swords. This will make sense here in just a moment. <clears throat> What's going on here with the Ten of Swords? Why is this individual here projecting the Ten of Swords energy towards Aries? The hangman. Yeah, I feel that this person has not gotten over whatever it is that they went through, Aries. The death is still very present. The Seven of Swords, once again. You know what I'm getting the sense of? Is that this person here has a hard time dealing with these tumultuous feelings. They have a hard time coping with this difficulty. They don't know how to deal with this. They don't know how to deal with their heartbreak, whether it involves you or not. Whatever defeat they went through, they just don't have the foundation. They don't have the wisdom when it comes to navigating these feelings. And this is something that is ongoing for this person. This is something that they're still stuck on. This is something here that they still heavily contemplate. Hangman, four of coins, or swords, rather. Wow. Okay. So, look, Aries, you're dealing with somebody here. You're dealing with somebody. Relationship from the past. This, look. <clears throat> Nine of coins. All right, Aries. <clears throat> All right, Aries, I'm getting the sense that this is someone you already know, okay? You don't have someone new coming into your life this week. You can most certainly be experiencing new, uh, new phases within yourself, even within this relationship. There may be a shift going on here in this relationship or even your approach towards this relationship. But one thing that I am picking up is that there is already a sense of existent energy. So this isn't new. This person is a new, like I mentioned, you guys could be moving towards a new phase when it comes to this, whether this relationship or even just with yourself. Nevertheless, there's already this existing energy and this person here has gone through something here in the past, whether it's tied to you or not. They have been dealt with some very negative cards. They've been cheated on. They've 
they feel as if they've been manipulated. They've been put in a... I mean, ladies and gents, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, the Moon Energy, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Four of Swords. Holy shit. What's going on here with this individual? Whomever it is that you're dealing with is fucking depressed, let me tell you. They're interested in you. They want to move. They want to take things slow with you. But there's something here that they are still stuck on when it comes to their past. A past that is just surrounded by an atrocity. I think I just did a reading for you guys and it was something along the lines that as atrocious as this relationship is, I don't know what I called it, but anyways, yeah, god damn. Well, you got somebody here that, that is interested in you, Aries, Queen of Cups, but you know, they're definitely still attached to something very toxic. Look at this. Look at the synchronicity. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Again, this speaks of an undeniable connection. The devil energy is simply the lovers, right? The lovers energy is, is two sides to the coin. And the devil is just one side of that coin. So there's an, an element of toxicity attaching this person to you. All right. Fuck. I don't even know what to make of this. I don't even know what to make of this. But whomever it is that you're dealing with is going through a very, very challenging time. This person is absolutely depressed and they have yet to find healing. Let me get some advice for you, Aries, and then I'm going to be taking this to the extended where I'm going to continue to dive into this individual. I'm going to look at their current feelings toward you. I'm going to look into their future visions with you. What do they envision in the future with you, as well as their next actions and the future of this relationship. But before we go there, let's get any advice for Aries when it comes to this situation, when it comes to this individual, when it comes to this relationship. Any words of wisdom for the Aries that I'm connecting with? The Knight of Wands. Hmm. This is a card of movement, Aries. Do you find yourself in a position to move towards this individual? Let's see. All right. Know, Aries, that... Know that you have the power of influence in the situation. You have a lot. You hold a lot of power when it comes to this, this relationship pushing past whatever obstacles it's being faced with. Okay? So do not undermine your energy. Do not undermine your power of influence because you can most certainly be the catalyst to a major positive turnaround, the sun energy. For a major turnaround when it comes to bringing about healing or even truth or just a turn of events in this situation. Again, you don't have to take action towards this person. Some of you want to, some of you will. And I'm just simply here just passing this message. Take it or leave it. Nevertheless, Aries, I'm taking this to the extended. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. I'll see you guys there. I'll see you guys next time.